Hello everyone. We are the Leading Ladies, a consulting firm for Navigare Yachting. We consist of Julia, Angela, Riley, and Juliana. Speaking of Navigare, let's learn a little bit about who they are. Navigare is a yachting company that offers a premier charter experience with nine bases worldwide where you can sail one of their 300 luxury yachts. Their main focus is on the customers to ensure a great experience and the details of the trip to help enhance the experience. They have a team of over 100 full-time hardworking members that keeps growing every year. They have an all-inclusive package so you do not have to pay security deposits or deductibles. They have a peace of mind guarantee so you're never liable for accidental damages. They have an app that focuses on customers from the very beginning and they hope to inspire people and guests to expand their horizons to sail to new destinations, experience the latest models of yachts, all while ensuring a great experience all around for every customer. Now let's get into why Navigare hired us. They are currently experiencing a problem that is affecting the amount of direct bookings that they are getting, and that problem is that Navigare's main audience is currently the boomer generation. They would like to grab the attention of the younger millennial generation. Due to the lack of brand awareness, marketing, and differentiation, the target market remains in the dark about the yachting industry and what Navigare offers. The ability to increase overall interest in business with the millennial audience and the yacht charter industry is the focus of our mission and vision statement. The mission focuses on utilizing Navigare's strengths and strategies in order to optimize new opportunities. The vision is to see Navigare's yacht charters expand its audience to the millennial generation and to carry these ideals throughout the implementation of our solution. Our objectives are to increase direct bookings, appear on the first page of search engine results, increase Navigare's social media presence, and ultimately target the millennial audience. Our strategy to achieve this are to improve SEO, create an easy to navigate website, and follow millennial trends like appearing on social media platforms and utilizing influencers. After researching our target market, it was clear that millennials plan on taking more vacations over a shorter time span, um, along with the fact that they definitely need a price breakdown or better layout to know how to budget and save for these and that we need to find solutions that accommodate for things like this. Looking at the top yacht charter competition, Navigar's weakest point is brand recognition. We want to help Navigar strengthen their social media presence and reach the millennial audience with messaging that matters to them. In the past, cruise vacations were once dominated by wealthy and elderly passengers, and coupled with the threat of air travel, the cruise line industry was nearly destroyed. Today, the cruise industry is considered one of the most popular and profitable segments of the global tourism industry. Navigare can utilize its information from its competitor as a means to combat their own challenges in the yacht charter industry. Cruise lines have had a significant social and economic impact on the destinations they travel to by aiding in the creation of jobs. This is an opportunity for Navigare to improve its passengers' vacation experiences by partnering with local shops and restaurants that are curated for the traveler. These are personal and exploratory experiences that present an opportunity that cruise lines simply cannot replicate. After researching about the company, the target market, and possible competitors, we wanted to get into some solutions that could help Navigare to grab their millennial audience and increase direct bookings through ecotourism, weekend trips, social media, and influencers. Our first solution in Navigare's problems are weekend trips. This would work well for the millennial audience due to over 69% of millennials preferring to take weekend trips in comparison to only 13% of other generations traveling over the weekend. These shorter micro-occasions are less than four nights, and it aligns better with the mentality of work-life balance for millennials who prefer to recharge over the weekend so then they are able to go back to work without feeling overworked. These micro-occasions also allow for exploration into different locations and locales while also maximizing the experience because they have to make the most of these short trips. The experience is everything and seen as the ultimate luxury to millennials right now, so this is what will really grasp their attention and want them to go on these trips to get the most of their experience. We are recommending a new ecotourism marketing campaign for Navigar. Millennials care about the environment more than any other generation, and creating new excursions with an eco-friendly focus and ship rules to reuse, reduce, and recycle will excite our target market. The new excursions focus on enjoying nature, a beach cleanup activity, and cultural experiences in the BVI. This will be promoted by YouTube influencers that we have identified as a best fit for the company. 
Offering local activities is a great way to make the traveler feel like they are a part of the destination rather than just observing it. Offering different types of activities presents an experience that everyone can find value in. These experiences can include humanitarian efforts like a beach cleanup, cultural experiences like learning to cook local cuisine and crafting te techniques from artisans, adventurous activities like cliff diving and zip lining, or maybe a romantic or relaxation experience like yoga and massages on the beach. Our third solution would be implementing influencers. While this can take on many different structures, um, the one laid out here would be really best for Navigari's budget, along with the fact that it gives them more value for their dollar and gives influencers um, genuine, authentic information to promote. And this slide just gives a better breakdown of the timeline for implementing these influencers and things that should be expected when doing so. We have identified three YouTubers to promote these new excursions and vlog their adventure over a weekend trip. They will go through the booking process online as part of the video to show how simple it is. We encourage our influencers to give honest feedback so that they come across as authentic and helpful. We believe these videos will put Navigar in the front of our target market's mind when they think of booking a vacation. After viewing possible solutions, let's get into some personas to see how these solutions would work out with different levels of the millennial generation between the ages of 25 to 39. Our first persona from the millennial generation is Zeke. He is 26 years old, has a $20,000 salary as an intern. Most of his money paying for his essentials are from his parents, so he takes that $20,000 to go on vacations due to the care about social media and following influencers. He likes to go on interesting experiences that he can remember and post about, so he doesn't experience fear of missing out while completing his bachelor's degree at the Florida Atlantic University. Looking into Zeke's purchasing pattern, you'd see that he would text his friends one night about what they should do for spring break. While watching a YouTube video, he would see that his favorite influencer took a trip with Navigator to the BVI that looked like a lot of fun. He starts to tell his friends about it and they think it's a great idea and begin to book their trip. Zeke was happy that the trip was affordable and in his price range as an intern in college and provide a memorable experience for himself and all his friends to post on social media. And thanks to Navigare's expanded social media page, he would see that it would be an amazing trip and there would be a lack of FOMO, fear of missing out for him and his friends on their spring break. Our second millennial profile, we have Michaela. She's 31 years old, has an average salary of about $57,000 um, and is working on her master's degree. She is very ego-aware, ego-friendly, um, and loves her, her social media, sharing with her bloggers, and going on adventures. And a fun fact about her is she owns succulent plants. When it comes to Michaela's purchasing process, it begins with her wanting to see what the latest trends are, which leads her to exploring what her fellow bloggers are currently interested in. Seeing that private sailing excursions are on the rise, she decides to give it a shot. Being that Navigare has weekend excursions available and she already has Fridays off, she instantly knew it was the perfect fit. Additionally, knowing the company has eco-friendly practices in place gives her an even better sense of fulfillment and will likely become a repeat customer. Our third and final persona is Dwight. He is 37 years old, makes a salary of $89,000 a year as an occupation of global marketing manager. He has a master's from UNICEF and has a really sustainable lifestyle. He doesn't really use social media as much as m many of the younger millennials, but he is very loyal to his favorite brands, an adventure seeker, and prefers short and flexible vacations such as microcations. Dwight's purchasing patterns begin with him and his husband out at a vintage car show when they pass by a Navigare booth and decide to pick up a pamphlet. Once at home, Dwight does some research on the company and notices that they support a lot of his nonprofits that he supports as well, and they also partner with local businesses in the BVI. After discussing it with his husband, they decide that they want to give this new adventure a shot and book a weekend trip to the BVI with a skipper, since they both lack sailing experience. Dwight and his husband are very excited about this trip because they love more intimate experience compared to overcrowded ones. They both also feel comfortable going into this feeling like they are getting their money's worth out of the trip while supporting a company that has mutual interests as them. Navigare has many strengths and weaknesses going for them right now, such as strengths with best pricing in the yacht charter industry, easy to navigate and well-designed website, positive customer experience with a carefree package and a dedicated app. While they also have weaknesses that we cannot ignore, they have limited flexibility in pricing due to the luxury market. Competitors can vary due to misunderstandings within the market and people believing cruises are the same as yacht charters, while also a lack of exposure in the target market millennials because of lack of advertising that is very scarce and unheard of on social media. 
Navigator also has some opportunities and threats. Opportunities with an expansion of an online presence to gain a larger connection with the millennial generation can have affiliated relations with other luxury brands besides boating companies, and also ecotourism that is a big opportunity to target key influencers and attract the millennial market. But they also have threats. They have a weak search engine optimization, meaning that they don't pop up within the first three to five websites available when searching luxury yacht charter. And also, cruise lines offer a more flexible experience, so it makes it easier for people to book cruise lines instead of a yacht charter. In summary, Navigar's problems are reaching the millennial market, lack of direct bookings, and a weak social media presence. We want to solve these problems through influencer marketing, new ecotourism excursions, and by offering weekend trips. As we bring our presentation to a close, we wanted to reflect on what we learned throughout this project and our recommendations for future students who are going to take this class. After reflecting over what I've learned in this project, there are three main things. How to be a professional leader, how to set expectations for a group, and how to relate relevant data back to solutions to show why and how solutions can happen. And for future students, I suggest to make sure the entire group understands the expectations. Ensure the group understands that the leader is simply someone to set reminders, not someone to dictate everything in the group. They also need to set a specific day each week to either group call or video chat to understand the expectations of every week and when everything's due. I never had to work on such a large project before, so coordinating understanding and presenting information was a unique experience for me. I learned better communication skills for groups, how to perform and produce informed content, and how to curate relevant data that clients can understand and utilize to better their firm. I recommend future students to make a group charter with clear expectations, discuss disagreements sooner than later, set clear guidelines for communication, and have a mutual understanding of all expectations and consequences. When it comes to what I learned, I definitely think my biggest takeaway would be how to really filter through large amounts of research to find um, fine-tune basically what I think is going to be relevant to what I'm looking into and what my team is looking into solutions-wise. Um, and for future students, I definitely think making sure um, there's an established routine and timeline when you want as a group your work submitted and um, having a a specific line of formal communication throughout um, the semester can be extremely helpful. During this project, I learned how to solve complex problems in a group dynamic. I'd recommend that future students come up with a solid group charter and stick to it to make sure that any major group issues are tackled early on in the semester. And here are our references. We want to thank Professor Diasio for the opportunity to do this project with the company Navigare, and we want to thank Navigare for providing the opportunity to work with a real-life company. Thank you all for this class, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and wonderful rest of your year.